It's a quite common for when you're making your games, certainly the first games you make, uh, to get sprites from the internet. And quite common you'll find sprites in this format. This is known as a sprite strip. To all, in order to use sprite strips and take advantage of the animation within them, you need to first save them onto your computer. I've already saved this onto my computer uh, and I'm ready to load it up into GameMaker. So I've created a new sprite and instead of clicking on load sprites, you need to click on edit. Once you've clicked on edit, you need to then go to file and create from strip. You then select your strip and you'll get a sheet like this. Because I've already done this before, uh, I'm going to reset this to what it was when I first started. Now, the little box I'm moving around the screen now is uh, the actual um, box for the sprite. And I'm going to place it around the first sprite in my strip. Okay, And I want uh, the, the animation of Sonic running. Once I've done that, I need to count how many frames of the animation I need. So in this case, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frames of Sonic running. The next uh, image next to him is clearly not running. It will look very weird if I include it, so I'm not. So I'm going to change the number of images at the top here to eight. And as you can see, all of a sudden, eight boxes appear. But instead of going across, they're going down, which is incorrect. So I'm going to change images per row to be eight. And as you can see, that's now uh, getting close to being done. The only problem is, is that I've cut off a bit of his foot there. So I'm just going to move this across a little bit. I'm going to change the horizontal pixel offset to 20. Now I could, if I wanted to, move around like this. But the problem with doing it like that is that you have to be very accurate with the mouse. Uh, it's sometimes much easier just to play with numbers. Okay, um, that looks pretty close. Um, I might move it uh, up slightly. Yeah, that's close enough. Once you're happy, click on OK, and then click on Show Preview to see what the animation looks like. And as you can see, that's not looking too bad. And that's how you add a sprite from Strip. Don't forget to name your sprites, otherwise you'll not remember what it is.